Okay, hey guys, so um, I'm back and I'm gonna show. Oh, I forgot the bread tie. Crap. Hold on. Okay, I'm back with the bread wire. Um, okay, in this experiment, um, this is just something simple that we kind of learned to do in science, um, in my science, my earth science class today. Um, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some baking soda. You're gonna need a spoon to dip the baking soda out with. You're gonna need a Ziploc bag. And you're gonna need a little bit of vinegar. Um, I think I might actually have too much vinegar. But, um, okay. First off, what you wanna do is you're gonna wanna open your Ziploc bag. And it is open. And you're gonna wanna take, um, what is it? I think it's like at least five grams, like five to six yeah, like five to six grams of baking soda, and you're going to put it in your Ziploc bag. So I'm actually going to bring the camera down. Like a, I guess I could do that. Yeah, I'm going to bring the camera down like a low level, I guess, so you guys can see that. Um, can't promise you you're going to like really see that. Okay, you guys are not going to see nothing down low there. Okay, so here's my Ziploc bag, and here's my baking soda. Nice if I had another, like an extra arm. Um... I don't know. You don't want to put like, I don't know, I guess three to four um, little bits like this of baking soda in one corner in your Ziploc bag. So there's one, two, three. There's the fourth one. And here is the fifth one. After that, you're just going to kind of want to seal your bag up, um, make sure you got it all over to the side. As you can see, I have some of it up around in here, so the product might not turn out good. Next, you're going to want to twist up here around the baking soda part, and you're going to want to make sure you twist it really tight around it, it's really, really tight around that. And you're going to want to take, then you're going to want to take your bread wire and wrap it around up here. Make sure it's nice and tight, by the way, guys. You're going to want to wrap this around it several times. Alrighty. And your bag is going to look something like this. Um, it looks quite retarded, I know. <laughs> and open your bag back up and make sure that nothing could get down in there to where you have it twisted. Nothing should be able to get down into that. But if it does, that's okay because you're going to untwist this in the project. Um, <coughs> One pre-warning, though, um, about the vinegar thing that I was telling you about. I don't know the like exact measurement of vinegar, if I even have enough, or if I have too much. Um, if you have too much vinegar and too much baking soda, your bag will explode, and vinegar and baking soda will go everywhere. So be careful. <laughs> and um, I guess if you try this at home, try this in a kitchen instead of a bedroom like I'm doing. Who knows what in the world I'm going to get vinegar on if the bag explodes. Okay. So, um, your next step is to have your Ziploc bag opened, leave your tie on it, and, um, there's my little bit of vinegar, white vinegar, by the way, and you're going to want to pour your vinegar into your Zippy bag, so I'm going to pour some of it in there. I don't know, I might not have enough vinegar. Yeah. I have this much vinegar left. I'm going to go ahead and use a little more vinegar. Yeah. Okay, so I still have a little leftover vinegar. Um, that's all the vinegar that I used. You're going to want to make sure that you have your Ziploc bag nice and tightly locked. Just go over it a couple times, make sure you can't open it. Okay, this comes with a really fun, well, it's kind of fun part. But, um, okay, you have this part. Now what you're going to do is you're going to untie your bread wire. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So, I'm actually going to keep a hold of this so none of my vinegar gets in the baking soda if I eat a sing it. So, Alright. There's Matt and there's the vinegar. You're going to want to untwist this. And here's the cool part. Now you get to blend them together. And, as you can see, um, 
the bag is actually starting to puff out. I don't think I have enough ingredients in it. But um, the bag will actually puff completely out, depending on how much stuff you have. Like I said, I didn't know exact measurements on vinegar-wise. I can try this again, and again, and again, and again. Trust me. But um, the bag's puffing out a little bit. I didn't put enough stuff in it. So, that's not great. But um, anyway, while you're doing this, the bottom part's going to get, like, freezing cold. But, um, I'm actually going to redo this experiment because I didn't have enough stuff in it. Because I want to make it to where it actually inflates like this. So, you guys bear with me and I'm going to go, like, fix that up so you guys can see that really awesomeness. So, I'll be right back. Alright, so, um, here's this. And here we go again. Um, this time I'm going to in case this one actually ends up exploding on me. <laughs> because you never know when it's going to explode. So I'm going to do this, and um, since I think I might have more stuff in this one, I don't know what that orange thing is that's inside the bag, but oh well. Um, I'm going to mix them together and I'm going to stick this in the bowl actually this time. So um, as you can see, it is puffing the bag out on its own, and it's going to puff the bag out more. Um, right there is the bag fully puffed, it's going to explode by the way. So we will stick it on the floor because it is going to explode. Maybe and hopefully. Okay, hopefully. Okay, so like I must be a complete Okay, so I must be a complete weenie because it never exploded on me. But um okay. Here is my bag. Um it is fully inflated. It will inflate on its own if you've done this properly. Um, like I said, I don't exactly know the exact like measurements right off the bat of my head. Um but, um, okay, if you feel the bottom to where the vinegar and the baking soda is, it is, like, really, really cold. Um, I find that really interesting. But, um, here's the Ziploc bag. Um, if you can hear that, that's, like, pretty wicked. I like wicked. Um, once again, I have no clue what that orange floaty thing is in here. It just kind of popped in there. Either we have something in the... <gasps> I know what it is. The orange floaty is probably a piece of the box from the baking soda. But um, anyway guys, to wrap this up, um, this is all this is, it's, I just thought it was kind of like amazingly cool today. <laughs> this is what I learned in science today guys. So um, it inflates the bag, it's nice, it's tight, it's like a pillow. Um, there's another cool thing I'd like to show you, I don't have enough time to. Um, just like set it on a table and it just like plops all around. It's, it's amusing, I know I'm, I have no life. But um, I thought that was pretty amusing and so I wanted to share it with you guys. But um, anyway, there's the baking soda vinegar and, vinegar 